In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. O God, enfold me. O God, surround me. O God, be in my speaking, and in my very thinking. O God, be in my life. O God, be on my lips. O God, be in my soul and in my very heart. Circle me, Lord. Protect me and keep me, keep danger afar. Circle me, Lord. Give me hope and banish doubt. Circle me, Lord. Be my light and keep darkness afar. Circle me, Lord and give me peace within, and keep evil without. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 24 to 31. But in those days after tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will fall and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see these things happening, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Open our eyes and our ears to your teachings, that we can understand your word. <clears throat> In the scripture reading today, of course, we read about the coming of the Son of Man. The second coming. And we are told here about the days of tribulation, and after that, what will happen. And with that, we'll see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. He will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven. When will he return? Is the question. Now Jesus says, learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branches has already become tender and put forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things happening, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation by no means pass away until all these things take place. We have been told of the signs of when this is happening. when Jesus will come again in all his glory. That will then be, of course, Judgment Day. 
I have a question for you. Are you ready for that now? Because we do not know when this is going to happen. Jesus told us that. Only the Father knows. Only the Father knows when Jesus will come again for the day of judgment on all of us. It's a time right now, not later, now to repent of your worldly ways, of the many times that you have turned your back on God and went for the world. As we have been told many times to repent of this way, it is not a godly way of Repent. The forerunner, John the Baptist, told the people when he was baptizing them to repent. So too did Christ. He came. He became incarnate. God the Son became man to save us. And he told us that we must repent. Just like the forerunner did. Turn back to God is the message. It is the important message for us all to learn, to understand and to do. In the season of Advent, it is a time for us to set aside, to contemplate the second coming of Christ in his glory. It is a time for us to repent of our worldly ways and turn back to God. So important for us to remember this so important Christ before me Christ behind me Christ above me Christ beneath me Christ on my right Christ on my left Christ around me Christ within me Christ to guide me Christ to guard me, Christ to forgive and heal me, Christ to love me. Glory to God for all things, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.